Yeah, well, the wind is starting to kick up here in Middletown. There are some light flakes falling. They are hard to see, but about an hour ago, that was different. There were some heavier flakes, some heavy rain. I want you to take a look at the roads right now. They are extremely clear, and there's one thing on their side. There's actually still a layer of salt left over from Monday. Never thought I'd have to be a weatherman to uh, you know, do this job. Middletown Public Works crews are responsible for keeping more than 200 miles of roads safe. And a couple of factors are on their side Wednesday as a massive system from the southwest spreads across Connecticut. For one, road temperatures. They're above freezing, so snow won't stick easily. Secondly, the superintendent called for an early dismissal, keeping families off slushy roads. But there is one complication, varying elevation of about 200 feet between the highest and lowest points. I'm not really expecting to have to plow, but if we do, you know, up in the hills, we're ready for it. Uh, mostly going to be, uh, you know, salt treatment. Still, 30 trucks are ready to go where needed, 10 with plows. And we seem to be living on the fault line. It's always a lot of snow north of us and kind of rainy down south. A mixed bag of weather amid a mixed winter. I miss the big snows we used to have, but I think climate change has taken care of that. Drivers tell Fox 61 they'd rather avoid Wednesday's evening commute, but people like Andrew Fall, who are used to decades of snowy Connecticut winters, don't mind taking it slow in a little slush. It's not good for animals, for nature, uh, this lack of snow, but um, it's good for homeowners that have to heat. And this wait and see also means overtime for truck drivers. They were supposed to get off around 3 o'clock today, but that's obviously going to change. And as that heavy rain moves in, the town will have to switch into flood watch mode. We're live in Middletown. Samaya Hernandez, Fox 61 News.